a new star season alpha 3.20 ptu patch hit evo cardi and once again the pipeline was able to get the um patch notes um right away so we're going to get straight into it so the test and focus for this patch right now is the hall c the miss hall c the big one that everybody is looking for um cargo refactor real vehicle handling improvements ai ship ai ship difficulty rebalance seraphim station mining stability changes ugf rastar drop bug checking um arena commander game modes what's under the not ready for feedback category is the salvage cover-up mission okay there's a lot of known issues in this patch i'm not going to go through it because it's a long list um so under the new features under the gameplay category they have automated cargo transfer and new cargo packing system alpha 3.20 includes the addition of the new automated cargo transfer experience to the pu 40 hall c the existing cargo transaction system which other ships will still use for this release will instantly pop all the purchased cargo into the ship or instantly remove all the sold cargo off the ship after the transaction has completed the hall c however requires a new experience where the player will buy or sell cargo at the commodity kiosk and will be prompted to pick it up or drop it off at the loading area to do so the player retrieves their vehicle then hails the location's cargo service to get assigned a loading area similar to getting assigned a landing area for ATC. After flying their ship to the loading area, they will be prompted to stop moving and then extend the spindles on their ship. Once the ship is ready, cargo will be added onto the cargo grid of the ship over a period of approximately 5 or so minutes. Depending on the size of the load, currently these boxes will just pop into place if the player moves or someone enters the area and transfer will be interrupted until the disruption is addressed or the loading area is eventually revoked. After transfer is complete successfully, the player will be prompted to leave the area, eventually get a warning for impounding if they do not. With the changes of the hall, you come into a complete rewrite of how the cargo system places cargo into ships. Any ships, not just the hall C, previous versions of the system only dealt with one SEU containers and could use fairly simple logic for placing or removal. We are now supporting various size boxes to, to be placed in the cargo holds 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 24, and 32 as well as supporting various orientations of placement in the grid to work around grid obstruction. This will include temporary tractor beam strength change to support the attach or detach of these various size boxes using the tractor beam. Cargo grids have been extended to support non-cargo box attachments and also the smaller mission handheld boxes. That is great. Ships and vehicle, of course, is going to be the Miss Hall C. Under feature updates, gameplay, vaulting and mantle and air ledge grab improvements. Implementing updated vaulting and mantle improvement that makes the process much more smooth and intuitive for players. This update allows players to now be able to grab ledge while running and jumping, low or high vault while running and jumping and or in air allow low high mantle while running and or in air so under the bug fix category they have the trams are missing from the city um this is regarding lorville um lobby to the seraphim galleria elevator not showing up or responding to call elevator button the elevators leading to nbis do not function when interacted with this is regarding new babbage the Miss Hall C cargo can get stuck in unusable states, cannot be sold, or cannot finish loading. When docking at a station, the docking arm will not extend. This is for multiple vehicles in a PU. Ship purchase with AUEC are not being delivered to players. Rented ships are listed as destroyed. Unable to submit a claim for rental via ASAP terminals. Players cannot load the UI for inventory inside a clinic area. Players can't purchase or interact with the pharmacy stored in hospital. AUEC Terminal Ghost Hollow can get stuck and reboot if the comma ray 
is connected and the player press authorize on the AUAC terminal. Force killing the client gives a player the option to duplicate ships. While buying or selling items, there is a chance of transaction error will occur. This is regarding all shopping kiosks. Surface of yellow is blind white. So those are all the bug fixes. In addition to this, they have two client crash fixes as well as three server crash fixes and a server deadlock fix. You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. See you on the next video.